Wow. Look at that shit. Yeah, wait, is that him? No, Jack no, no, Dempsey no. And it's this nigga. Strong. Yeah, this nigga like he came out the shadows and he he pretended to be Batman for a little bit. What's the word you two again? You know I'm saying back in whatever got you messed up about it. Boom. You know what I'm saying? When Eric. It's only a kick. Right. When arrogant, you know what I'm saying? KO artists get challenge challenge Golovit. Nah, I ain't I ain't never heard of this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard of this one. But shit. We gonna learn every time we react to more, you know what I'm saying? More ish, man. Hey bro. I, I wanna make a community, man. That's why I can't wait to get the streaming and shit. I, I I peep this this mic is a lot better and shit than the one that I I had just fucking bought and that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know what the... I don't know, bro. But this mic could take more time to set it. But if y'all could hear it, man, that's that's really all that fucking matters. You feel, you feel me? But when I make my own community, man, my shit gonna be named TGO, bro. TGO, man. It's gonna be standing for... It's gonna it stand for the great ones, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be great at whatever you try, gotta set your mind to in life, bro. You just gotta keep on aiming for it, man. That's why I wanna set an example. You know what I'm saying? We so close to 500, you know what I'm saying? That's the first milestone. Well, first of a few, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep on working, man. I'm in college and shit, you know what I'm saying? My, my roommate, she, he gone and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I got time to upload more videos and shit like those. You feel me? But make sure y'all staying blessed. Make sure y'all staying iconic, man, and keep working for your dreams. Let's get into this reaction. Bet you not his ass can't cash. Come Saturday, I'm going to... Bayo, what a way to start off. After bagging three devastating first round knockouts in his previous four outings. Bro, if you never got knocked out before, or you never like passed out like with, with fucking, you know what I'm saying? Just in general, bro. You don't ever be scared of how that fucking feel, bro. Like, like bro, imagine you get hit and then you just, the only thing you remember is just waking up. It's like, damn. Damn, you don't even remember what the fuck happened, man. Bill she got black. Curtis Stevens emerged as the first real credible puncher who could potentially carve his way through the unstoppable hype train of Gennady Golovkin. He's in my hometown. And come Saturday, I'm getting into Toronto. Too much talking every day, every time. This is my time. Stevens was a former light heavyweight who had decided to trim down to middleweight in an attempt to weight bully and bash around the naturally smaller guys. Oh. Damn. He was a decent enough boxer, but fell in love with his power. So much so that he would often lose track of his game plan just trying to set up a knockout shot. So when he came up against- That's dangerous. That's a dangerous game. Boxer movers like Jesse Brinkley and Andre Durrell, he looked out of his depth and things could get a bit embarrassing in there as he crudely chased them around the ring. It's not whether Kenny fight, it's Kenny take a shot and withstand this thunderstorm I'm gonna give his ass. However, Golovkin's profile wasn't that of a boxer mover. Quite the opposite, a stalker puncher that would gladly stand and trade with all comers with varying styles. I like show my people my predator style. He's always looking to attack and to hurt. Sometimes I feel, oh, that's it, like, it's finished? Down goes Rubio, second round knockout. Thank you very much. Buenas noches, amigos. Buenas noches, Stalker. While still a relatively new face in the American boxing scene, Triple G had already built a large group of diehard fans that endeared to his all-action style. His persistence to make every second of the fight a phone booth style brawl was a harken back to the old school legends like Jack mm. Dempsey and Henry Armstrong. Bro, look, he look in distress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? You know like how they be having the Batman scenes and shit when they be, when he just be coming out the shadows and shit like that so you don't see his face? That's what, that's what remind me of this shit legend. right now. Look at that shit. Yeah, wait, is that him? No, Jack no, no, Dempsey no. And It's this nigga. Armstrong. Yeah, this nigga look like he came out the shadows and he he pretended to be Batman for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Bro look like he brooding. You know what I'm saying? But uh, damn, this the nigga that got knocked out. So now I got me second guessing. Damn. Yet he did it with a modern Eastern European style twist, with unusual feints, shimmies, and punching angles that kept the crowd, but more so his opponents, on their toes until the inevitable. Oh, that was a clean ass hit, man. He punched the fuck out his forehead. That bitch, that bitch jiggled. 
If it pause. You know what I'm saying? He 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 hit that shit. This, this nigga hit a wave, man. Shot land. Like that. To get Body back right out of here. Back went down. After the second round, I understand it is not boxing. I need street fight. Like you know, just broke him. Golovkin, much like Tyson, had an aura of invincibility that struck fear into his opponents. But that's what made the Stevens fight so interesting. Curtis wasn't afraid at all. He saw Triple G as an easy target to attack verbally because of his basic understanding of the English language, and an even easier target to attack in the ring due to his aggressive style and perceived loose defense. Um, who's scared of him though, huh? Ain't nobody scared of him. And I'm gonna go in there and do what I do and show everybody that he's not like that. He's not like that, he's overrated. I'm gonna go in there and demolish his ass. This one had all the hallmarks to be a memorable slugfest. BLTV picks up the action from round one. It's gonna be a good one, bro. Curtis Stevens' big shot is his left hook. He just tried one against Golovkin moments ago. Golovkin lands a left hook of his own. Well, Triple G is doing a good job starting out early with his jab, trying to keep Stevens away from him so he can't land that left hook. Thing to see Golovkin backing away from a guy, but he respects Stevens' power. And a good big... left hook, keeping his gloves up and focusing on defense. Now he tries a big shot. Dulled Golovkin's normal early rounds attack. And Stevens landed a left hook. Damn, these little dodges with them jazz is crazy. I give him those. That's what his corner was. Right hand for Golovkin. Stevens with another little counter left hook. Good right hand by Golovkin. Good left hook by Golovkin. <laughs> <laughs> nigga turned into Donald Duck for a minute, bro. This nigga, he walk up, he got up. There's no way, bro. <laughs> where, where's your thing was going through his head at that point? Nigga said, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I got to get pepper sprayed in the military, bro. That's, the, that's how that nigga had that reaction, bro. <laughs> This nigga regret every. Oh shit, <laughs> bro! This dude regret every second he took into that ring, bro. It's no way. Oh, there it is. Isaac Thunder in round number two. Stevens' face told the whole story of how. <laughs> This pause is crazy. This is gonna, this is gonna be in the thumbnail. Being <laughs> rounds in early knockdown came about. Golovkin wasn't just a slugger, more so a calculated offensive beast that, when he lands, it's always with bad intentions. He runs across the ring, bangs Stevens into the ropes. Ten seconds to go in the round. Body shot. Looking upstairs, misses with the left hook. Lands a right hand. Wobbles Stevens with it. One more right hand, and the round comes to a close. Stevens made it through the round, but Golovkin's pressure never faded, which in turn opened up a window of opportunity for Ooh, Curtis to get off some of his own power. That liver shot. Oh, Just damn. Down. This nigga sprayed a whole bunch. Damn, Febreze. <laughs> you don't need that shit. <laughs> that nigga sprayed. Damn, that shit evaporated into the air. You watch that shit. That's crazy. As Golovkin jabs him into position in the corner, throws a right cross. Two big right crosses by Golovkin and the possibility of a counter shot. Those are clean shots he's landed. And he fought that last right hand with the left hook with the right hand. Okay. Okay. Golovkin lands a, an uppercut and a left hook. Taking advantage of Stevens' offense to counter with a couple of shots down the stretch. Stevens' chin held up. And he started to make the fight more competitive as it approached. Mm. That was a good ad jab, especially after getting. Oh shit, we don't even want to talk about that. We don't even speak on that. Maybe he'll make a comeback, man. Oh shit, now I'm looking at the title. <laughs> Look at the title. I <laughs> say what Eric and KO artists get. No, it's not. It's actually, now I'm actually comprehending what the fuck I'm watching now, because <laughs> I because I looked at that title. Jab lands a right hand over the top. Stevens much more aggressive than he was in the first three rounds. Now countering Golovkin's big stuff with big stuff of his own. Right Lands a left hook there. Oh, big left hook by Stevens. Momentarily wobbled Golovkin. Golovkin lost a couple of rounds, which served as the wake-up call he needed to get back to work and start forcing the issue on the front foot. Something Eastern European fighters seem to do very well. Hey. 
What's up there? Oh, I switched to H&R Block, doing my own taxes online. Kind of winning taxes. I was able to file free, and it was so easy to do on my own. So long. He's landed some good shots in this round. Now Golovkin with a body shot and a right cross, and momentarily hurts Stevens. Good comeback uppercut and a right cross by Stevens. And the left hook. Golovkin tried to measure him one more time. Right cross for Golovkin. Body shot. Uppercut. Right cross. Very active round for Gennady. Damn. He wobbled Stevens with a couple of shots and is still seeking Damn. a knockout. Damn. Got the easy for him. Golovkin's pressure started taking a toll on Stevens as the former light heavyweight was bullied into the back foot for six minutes straight. Even Curtis's own mother had seen enough, storming out of the arena before the bell rang for the seventh. Oh shit. Wait, was that of anger or disappointment? Or 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 scaredness? Hold on. Even Curtis's own mother she couldn't watch that shit. Enough. Storming out of the arena before the bell rang. Why is it like she just about to cuss that nigga out after this match? Damn, I thought it would be because probably she's scared of, you know what I'm saying, her son just dealing with this. She probably like this nigga. And then walked off. The seven. The corner wanted to know why Stevens was against the ropes. I think it was those body shots by Golovkin in the last round, but here Stevens is trying his best to stay in the middle of the ring. And stay in the middle of the ring. But now Golovkin backs him to the ropes. And you heard Andre Rozier say it's not a good place for you. Golovkin keeps his chin tucked well, even if he doesn't always move his head. It looks like if we get a knockout by Golovkin, it's going to be the same. Damn. Of the world. I ain't going to lie. He eating away better than he... Oh, shit. And three of them in this round. Thunder on the limb. Golovkin's still alert enough to back off those up. Hard right-hand body shot. Oh, shit. In Madison Square Garden. It could be thrown back just enough to stop the ref from stopping it. Big right Thank you, Omar. Omar. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. And they're going to stop it in the corner. That's a yeah, yeah. That ref knew better, bro. I ain't going to lie. Andre Rozier had seen enough. That's a great stoppage because of temptation with a guy. Stevens was beaten into submission by the end of the eighth, folding to the relentless pressure of Triple G, gladly accepting his corner's white towel after putting up a valiant effort. What was your plan for the fight? My plan just box, you know. I know I'm champion. I know I'm better. My power better, my speed better, you know, just. I show you for, for gym, for TV, for my fans, you know. Stevens was a solid puncher, but as the future title reign of Triple G would go on to prove, you need to be more than just a banger to even stand a chance against the Kazakh killer. Like I said, Gl and, and Golovkin fight and have no game plan. I thought I was going to go in there and knock him out. Listen, Golovkin did what he did. He beat me. I'm not going to take nothing. That, I'm not going to take that away from Golovkin. You know, respect to him for that. To be fair to Stevens, he's always been humble enough in discussing this fight in the aftermath, giving okay. Golovkin the credit he probably should have considered before he got in there and decided to try to disrespectfully slug w it out. W Sportsman, damn, oh my, uh, w, I was about to say W Sportsmanship, but you got no, you got no choice but to be humble after that shit. Oh damn, he thinking about life right now. Oh shit, <laughs> this nigga looking at the logo. I know, bro. It's okay. <sighs> Sad to see, bro. Game plan at all. Like I said, Gl and, and Glovkin fight and have no game plan. I thought I was gonna go in there and knock him out. In the end, it wouldn't be a slugger, a puncher, or a slickster that would dethrone Golovkin. Instead, a mixture of the three as he battled out two modern-day classics with the future Hall of Fame legend, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Many argue, though, that Golovkin won both fights by being the more active punching aggressor. I want to say, like, I want to shake hands to Canelo and all congrats, all team, you know, guys. It's a real warrior. If you not understand, you not understand nothing. Golovkin hung up the gloves at the end of 2022. He was a fantastic fighter, a real throwback. It's always a pleasure to cover his fights, and I plan on doing many more for this channel down the line. Man, I should probably subscribe to bro because we've been reacting to a, a lot, a little bit. Boxing highlights. Huh. This is not a fudge. I don't know. It's gonna be in my head all day.
Make sure y'all stay blessed. Make sure y'all stay iconic, man. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Niggas see the love in the eyes of the kid that was lost and it turned to a rebel. Mama don't give up on me.